Today, the judge said he wants to hold a hearing to look into Sawyer's attorney's request to drop four charges against the teenager. On Tuesday, Jack Sawyer, the 18-year-old accused of plotting to carry out a mass shooting at Fairhaven Union High School, was granted bail. The court concludes that bail in the amount of $100,000 is the amount that is necessary to reasonably assure his appearance. The state originally asked bail be set at $50,000 after the Vermont Supreme Court ruled last week that the evidence against Sawyer may not warrant the various attempted murder charges and that he couldn't be held without bail. Jack Sawyer's father, David Sawyer, testified Tuesday that he's prepared to take custody of his son and get him to a bed at Brattleboro Retreat, a mental health facility. You do understand that if the court does release him into your custody, you have to call Vermont State Police if any violations occur. Yes, I would be very willing and wanting to. Also at the hearing, Sawyer's attorney referenced the police affidavit, saying it's not clear her client intended to injure anyone while he was in possession of the gun police found in the trunk of his car. I don't think that there is probable cause to believe that um, Jack intended to use the gun in that time frame for a school shooting or to injure anyone. The judge ruled that if he makes bail, Sawyer must constantly be under his father's supervision until he is admitted to the Brattleboro Retreat or another approved mental health facility. Other conditions include not being allowed to have any weapons or access to the internet. Sawyer will also not be allowed to go into Fairhaven or have any contact with anyone from the school. Sawyer still faces six charges, the four original felonies and two misdemeanors that prosecutors added on Tuesday. In a letter to the community after the hearing, Superintendent Brooke Farrell wrote in part, based on advice from law enforcement officials, including the Vermont State Police, we believe it is reasonable to hold classes after the spring vacation. It has been a difficult and frightening time, but we must move forward in learning. Now, Sawyer will be in custody until his father posts bail. The state has until April 23rd to oppose the probable cause hearing. At the Live Desk tonight, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.